Let me guess. You're doing your impression of Wesley. <laughs> nope. A law student on spring break. Congratulations. Will you be throwing things on the floor all week? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Belvedere. It's just that I've got some time off and I've got to figure out what to do with myself. There's a load of laundry upstairs. <laughs> oh, Mr. Belvedere. Ah, oh, Mrs. Owens. <laughs> hey, Marcia. Hi, honey. Uh, that's it. I am through with show business. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's this? A mutiny on the HMS Pinafore? What happened, honey? They canceled the play. Congratulations, Wesley. Normally, you just get yourself kicked out. Hey, I didn't do anything. Mrs. Futterman, our director, got sick. Well, that's too bad. Well, she got the flu? I don't know. The guy taking her away said she needed a long rest. And, of course, that had nothing to do with you. No, I was behaving myself. Because I'm the star and I have to set a good example. Mm -hmm. And my singing was getting better, too. I am the captain of the pinafore. Excuse and me. I'm a good captain. So, honey, 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 are they going to get you kids a new director? I don't know. I mean, you give one teacher a nervous breakdown, suddenly they're all afraid of you. <laughs> the principal said he's going to try to find a parent to volunteer. That's nice. <laughs> You're on vacation, aren't you? No. No, well, I mean, I yes, I am, but I'm um, only for a very short while. And I guess you gotta work, huh, Ed? <laughs> Afraid so, champ. Well, I'm never gonna get to be captain of the pinafore. Hey, maybe Mr. Belvedere could direct it. Yeah, that's a great idea, Dad. I mean, Mr. Belvedere is English, just like Gilbert and Sullivan. Yeah. <laughs> And he loves kids. Boy, Mr. Belvedere, have we got a treat for you. If it's not a milk bone, I'm in very big trouble. <laughs> Streaks on the china never mattered before. Who cares when you drop kicked your jacket as you came through the door? No one glared, but sometimes. Bed. All hands look out below There's a change in the status quo Gonna need all the help that we can get According to our new arrival Life is more than mere survival We just might live the good life yet I'm called Little Butter Top, dear Little Butter, though I could never tell why. But still I'm called Butter Top, dear Little Butter Top, sweet Little Butter Top. Kevin. Hey, I didn't hear a thing, Mr. Buttercup. <laughs> Kevin, it's just a song from HMS Pinafore. I'm directing your brother's play. Why? I don't know, sheer masochism? <laughs> I'm very, very good at being understood a commander like right the crew. See? <laughs> Mom, you're reading again. Huh? You promised me you wouldn't study during spring break. I'm not, really. Jessica was so mesmerized by his bedroom eyes, she was barely aware of his caressing hands. <laughs> This is trash, young lady. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a romance novel. They're sold in the finest supermarkets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Heather, you know, I've got a couple of weeks off. Oh, don't worry. I won't bother you. No, I mean, I thought we could spend some time together. You know, do some mother and daughter stuff. You mean, like, argue? <laughs> no. I mean, like, go shopping. Just the two of us. Ooh, mm. great. <laughs> Well, why don't you pick me up after school and we'll go to the mall? Oh, well, I was thinking we could go downtown. I hate the stores downtown. Why can't we just go to the mall? Heather, you spend your life at that mall. But, Mom... Hev! How long did you say your break was? Two weeks. <laughs> well, 
If you can take it, I can take it. <laughs> I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the fights historical. From marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. <gasps> Thank you. Wesley, I'm in charge of this fiasco, not you. I'll cast the chorus my way. Thank you, Jesse. We'll be in touch. Next victim! <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca Rose. My parents are separated. My dog is sick. And singing's the only joy I know. Hit it! You'll be in the sailor's chorus. Thanks, Mr. Belvedere. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Sorry, there's such a bunch of loxes. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. There's still a Tommy Sullivan. Tommy! Ah, oh, forget it, Mr. Belvedere. He probably didn't even show up. He's kind of shy. Oh, all right. Yeah? Tommy? Hi. Huh. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Oh, so long. Uh, Tommy! <laughs> Since we're all here, you may as well sing for us. Oh. I don't really know any songs. Oh, come, come, Tommy. You must know something. It doesn't have to be anything special. I know Silent Night. Fine. Sing that. I hope you guys shoplifted some of that. <laughs> Dad. Oh, George, we had the best time. We walked around. We split a hot fudge sundae. We talked. It was just wonderful. Hot fudge sundae, huh? Did you charge that, too? <laughs> hey, I think it's great you and Heather are doing stuff together. You know, George, it wouldn't hurt for you to spend a little more time with Kevin. Who? <laughs> I mean, next year he'll be a senior, then he'll be off to college. I know. I think you'll wish you'd spent some quality time together while you had the chance. Hey, Dad. Hey, Kev. How's school? Oh, okay, yes. Hey, uh, Kev. Yeah. You want to do something together? Just the two of us? You know, before it's too late. Too late? <laughs> What do you mean? Are you okay, Dad? <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm talking about you. Me? Why? <laughs> what have you heard? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Look, I'm going to go upstairs now, Dad. I'm going to lay down for a while. <laughs> Good idea, Kev. I wasn't so bad. <laughs> singing too fast. He's playing too slow. Just sing. <laughs> I've never known a quail in the fury of a gale, and I'm never, never sick at sea. What, never? No, never. What, never? Hardly ever. God. He's hardly ever sick at sea. Thank you, children. 
Now, why don't we all take five and let Mr. Belvedere clear his head? <laughs> well, I haven't finished my song yet. Yes, well, we want to save something for the opening night, don't we? <laughs> yes, that's true. Maybe I should rest my voice. Maybe it should rest in peace. Nothing. <laughs> now, go and have your nice break. Oh, Tommy. Yes, Mr. Belvedere, did I get something wrong? No, not at all. You've been very good. Uh. Thanks. I'm just curious. Would you mind singing the song on page 98? But that's one of Wesley's songs. I know, I know. But sing it anyway, just for fun. Hmm? Just go and join the others. Okay, Mr. Belvedere. Hi, Wesley. What's going on? Is Tommy going to be my understudy? Mm, no, not exactly. Well, how come you sing my song? Look, Wesley. We all want to put on the best possible play, don't we? Yeah. And if you were the director, how would you go about it? I'd give me my song back. Aside from that. <laughs> You're giving Tommy my part, aren't you? Wesley, you'll be in the chorus. I don't want to be in the crummy chorus. Who's going to hear me there? Oh, I don't know. Certain breeds of dogs. <laughs> this isn't funny, Mr. Belvedere. Oh, look, Wesley, I'm sorry. I know what this has meant to you, but I have to do what is best for the play. You understand that, don't you? Yeah, I understand, all right. I quit. We're back. Where have you guys been? Just out. Doing stuff together. <laughs> yeah, Dad and I walked around for a while. We split a hot pretzel, and then he bought me some underwear. <laughs> it was great. Hey, Dad. Hey, champ. How's the captain of the pinafore doing? Mr. Belvedere made me walk the plank. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Belvedere gave somebody else Wesley's part. What? Why? Well, he felt the other boy could sing just a little bit better. Can you believe that? I am the captain of the pin, not for it. That's still no reason. <laughs> Mr. Belvedere said you could still be in the chorus, right, honey? Chorus, big wow. Hey, champ, the chorus sounds like a lot of fun to me. I'm gonna go upstairs. Yeah, come on, Wes. I'll show you my new underwear. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. You always know how to cheer me up. <laughs> I'm back. Mr. Belvedere. I take it you've talked to Wesley. Yeah, you mentioned something about you giving him the old heave-ho. Look, both of you, I didn't enjoy it. But Wesley simply wasn't up to the part, and I felt I had to be objective. Mr. Belvedere, don't you think you're getting a little carried away? Yeah. It's just a stupid little school play. It's not like opening night on Broadway or anything. No. Not yet. <laughs> Been the boy, the right good captain too. Oh, look, here you are at your fifth birthday party. <laughs> Do you remember how chubby you were? Mom, please turn the page. Oh. oh, there you are at the seashore. Hey, Wes, honey, come here. You want to see a real cute picture of your sister in a bathing suit? No, thanks. I'm depressed enough. <laughs> Talking to you again. My prayers have been answered. <laughs> Listen, I've been thinking about what you said, and if Tommy has more talent than me, then he should be the captain. I'm glad you feel that way. And if you'll still have me, I'd be proud to be in the chorus. Fine, Wesley. Thank you. And I promise to do my best to help make this the most memorable school play ever. <laughs> Bravo, 
Hello, children. Very nice. Give yourselves a big hand. And now you've all worked very hard and you've come a long way and I just wanted to tell you that most of the credit goes to me. <laughs> At any rate, the curtain goes up in two hours. Your parents and your friends will be out there and I'm sure you'll all do your best. Any questions? Yes, Tommy. Are we really going to do this? No. We're all going bowling, you silly little twerp. <laughs> At any rate, all go home, rest up, and don't eat anything that'll clash with your costumes. Okay. Go, go along. Run, 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 run. Tommy. Is Mr. Belvedere? Look, it's perfectly natural to be nervous before a performance. I am. You are? Certainly. I mean, it's my name up in chalk, just like yours. <laughs> so remember this. You're going to be fine, because you are the captain of the pinafore and a right good captain, too. Thanks, Mr. Bolivar. Quinhead, you sit down right next to me. Sure, Mom. Hey, I don't see Wes's name anywhere in this thing. Oh, well, it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, here it is, right down here. Yeah, at the bottom. Look, George, I'm very proud of Wesley. I mean, he's used to being the center of attention. And I think he's handling this situation quite well. I know. It's just, look how big Belvedere's name is. <laughs> has come on deck. Let us greet him as so brave an officer and so gallant a seaman deserves. My gallant crew, good morning. Sir, good morning. I hope you're all quite well. Quite well. And you Champ. So what did you guys think of the play? It was very good. What about me? I was pretty funny, huh? Yeah, you were a laugh a minute. <laughs> I mean, I just figured I was making mistakes anyway. Why not make them entertaining? <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit I was hilarious when I burped during the love scene. <laughs> Where's Mr. Belvedere? I don't know. I left before he had a chance to thank me. I don't think Belvedere is gonna be in any mood to thank you, pal. Yeah, well, I just hope he doesn't start yelling and calling me names like he does. He'll bust my eardrums. Hello, everyone. Uh-oh. Uh Mr. Belvedere, we all enjoyed the play. Yeah, and I usually gag on junk like that. <laughs> George. <clears throat> Was there something you wanted to say to me? I don't think so, Wesley. Shall we? At any rate, now that I've taken a week off my job, and a year of my life. <laughs> I'm pleased to say the maiden and final voyage of the HMS Pinafore went relatively smoothly, save for one vengeful crewman whom I wouldn't mind seeing lashed to the mast. <laughs> Speak of the devil. 
Come in, Wesley. Hey, how'd you know it was me? Just a lucky guess. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm up so late. Not really. I couldn't sleep. I wonder why. You're just mad because I stole the show. You didn't steal it, you vandalized it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd notice. Well, and what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I want to ask your best friend, Tommy. Oh. He's the only one you care about. Helping him, hugging him, calling him a stupid little twerp. I thought I was the only twerp in your life. <laughs> Look, Wesley. Once in a while, someone like Tommy comes along. Someone who needs a little extra guidance and compassion. So? So? Just because I give someone else a little help doesn't make you any less special to me. But the whole time I was in the chorus, you didn't yell at me or call me a name even once. Oh, Wesley, believe me, I wanted to strangle you on several occasions. <laughs> but I just couldn't find the time. Mean it? Of course I do. Now get back to bed, you snotty little twerp. <laughs> Huh? Mom, I love you, but if I have to relate to you one more time, I'll go nuts. For God's sake, go back to school. I am. Well, I was just about to tell you that we can't do anything today because I have to go to the law library. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I did overdo it a little. Oh, that's okay, Mom. I like hanging out with you, you know? You just can't force it. It has to be more natural, spontaneous. You know, like sex. <laughs> Let's see, where was I? Save for one particular crewman whom I wouldn't mind seeing lashed to the mast. Actually, I would never do a thing like that to Wesley, although it was a lovely thought. <laughs> anyway, one can hardly blame the lad for being a bit jealous. There's just not enough of me to go around. <laughs> <laughs> 